The Severe Weather Awareness Week in Indiana. Each year, the National Weather Service encourages people to take part in a statewide tornado drill. News 10's Madison Zaleski was there today as one local school took cover. At 10.15 a.m., a tornado safety drill began at Sugar Creek Consolidated Elementary in West Terre Haute. Drills like this help students review their safety plans at school. Off, Warnings are announced on a loudspeaker a few seconds before the drill. This helps ensure there is no panic among the students. When students hear this message, they immediately take action. The entire student body of the elementary school lined the halls, crouched down, and faced the wall. When I was young, you know, we used to get under our desk and put the books over our heads. Um, we've kind of learned over time that that may not be the best scenario. We feel that it's better to come out in the hall where there is no glass. There is no open doors where things could maybe swing in or the wind could hit them. And these students clearly knew what to do. Good job. That's because a tornado drills performed two times a year, once in the fall and again in the spring. Students know practicing drills like this could help save their lives one day. It makes me feel like calm so that I know if it does actually happen, then I am like ready and prepared for it to happen. Now here's a reminder between a tornado watch and a tornado warning. A tornado watch is issued when conditions are favorable for tornadoes to form, and that means you need to be prepared. A tornado warning is issued when a tornado is spotted or indicated by radar, and that means you need to take action immediately. The lesson is valuable not only for the school day, okay. but also when students are at home. If they can get to a basement, that's what they need to do. If they can get to an indoor room, that's what they need to do. So yeah, we talk a lot about that, especially in their classrooms and their curriculum. This helps ensure students are prepared and not scared. Reporting in West Terre Haute, Mass and Zaleski, News 10.